Welcome to the Gladinet video series. In this video we'll be demonstrating Gladinet Cloud Desktop software. The first thing we want to do is give an introduction to cloud computing and make some examples of some of the services that are available. So if you're familiar with cloud computing, go ahead and skip about a minute into this video to continue on with the Gladinet Cloud Desktop software demonstration. Cloud computing is internet-based computing, and uh, shared resources, software, and information is essentially provided to computers and other devices on demand, sort of like electricity. So what happens is no longer is your software and your documents available on your computer, on your hard drive. Now it's available on a secure server somewhere else through a number of service providers. A great example would be Google Docs. Google Docs is a free web-based word processor, spreadsheet, and data storage service that's offered by Google. It allows users to create and edit documents online while collaborating in real time with other users that are looking at the same documents. So once you've created your, Google, your free Google Docs accounts, you can now uh, upload, share, and edit files that you've created on your desktop with others and these files are no longer on your desktop now. You'll see that all of these files right here were from my desktop, but now they are on Google Docs, which is a cloud service. Now, while Google Docs and cloud service provider technology is very innovative and a great platform to use, the drawback is that you have to actually select and upload each and every individual file that you want to share. And it can take anywhere from a couple of seconds for one file to a couple of hours or even days for an entire folder. And that's really where Gladinet Cloud Desktop services come in and make all of this easier, faster, and smoother. Gladinet Cloud Desktop allows you to seamlessly access, aggregate, and back up all of your files on your computer to cloud storage. You can use Amazon S3, AT&T Cloud Services, or Google Docs, for example, on all of your cloud-enabled PCs and laptops. You can map storage as a network drive. What this literally means is you can manage and use your cloud storage files using Windows Explorer format. Within that Windows Explorer format, you can drag and drop to transfer files between storage services. You can also back up pictures, movies, videos, and more online with lightning fast file transfer speeds. Allow me to demonstrate. There are several ways that I can access my Gladinet Cloud Desktop and search my virtual directory. One of them is the Gladinate Cloud Desktop icon and that's going to launch the quick pad and what I can do here is explore my drive, create online backups and a number of other storage task manager features. I can also access it from the toolbar tray and again those same features are available and lastly I can explore my Gladinate Cloud Drive by just using my Internet Explorer. Now the first thing you'll need to do is mount a cloud storage provider and in this case, I'm going to use my local disk, which is my C drive. And in just a couple of seconds, I will have made my C drive available within Gladinet's cloud and cloud desktop software. Now, the most innovative feature of Gladinet's cloud desktop is the ability to bring all of your cloud storage providers together on one cloud drive, my Gladinet Drive Z, available locally on your computer by simply, and you can access them simply by using Windows Explorer. So I'm going to go ahead and also demonstrate how to mount a new storage provider. In this case, I'm going to mount my Google Docs, but of course you can mount any one of these service providers. And all you'll simply do is add your username, your password, and in seconds, not minutes or hours or days, in seconds, you'll now have your Google Docs available locally on your Gladinet Drive Z and you can also edit, upload, um, and save right here using your Windows Explorer. Now that we've successfully mounted our Google Docs to our Gladinet Cloud Drive Z, we can manipulate these folders and files. We can copy, cut, edit, paste. We can move, we can upload, and we can download them all in real time in seconds, as you just saw right there. Now. Uh, last thing we're going to demonstrate is how to back up these files. Um, you can either do so using the quick launch pad by creating an online backup tasks, or you can use the backup manager. And one more way to access this quickly, seamlessly, and easy is to actually use the tray. And using the tray offers some additional um, uh, shortcuts. Here you can just back up your documents, your pictures, your musics, 
or your videos. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create an online backup task and I'm going to back up just my documents and I'm going to do so into my Google Docs. In seconds um, I'll have this backed up. Now you can also um, uh, you can also schedule when you want your backups to happen either daily or you can create a custom backup schedule and if you do your daily backup schedules what happens is Gladinet runs in the background and as long as it's open will actually detect changes that you've made in your documents and back up those automatically. Now going to our backup manager we'll see that the backup is going through right now and it'll take a few seconds and in just a few seconds we'll be able to see that our documents have not only been backed up into our Google Docs which you would normally access online but now you can access through your Windows Explorer you'll see that our backup is right here. File sharing with Gladden and Cloud Desktop is easier, safer, and faster because it offers you or your company and your employees to be able to access, edit, manage all the files that are available in all of your storage providers locally on your Drive Z. Thanks for watching the Gladinet Cloud Desktop demo video. To download Cloud Desktop, please go to gladinet.com and click download.